guys, Laser Bolt here, and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be doing a little 3D modeling in VR using a little program called Adobe Medium. Medium can be found for free on the Oculus Store and allows us to create beautiful 3D sculpted objects in VR. I really love how it feels like you're working with an actual lump of clay. You got all the tools available at your disposal and you can push and pull and cut and do all kinds of things to create some great artwork. And when you're all done sculpting your awesome creation, it's real easy to go ahead and 3D print it. All right, let's get started. So I'm pretty new to using medium, but I think we can probably go ahead and do some kind of a neat little sculpture real quick like and 3D print it and um, see what it's all about. How about we try something like, um, I don't know, little uh, maybe a little troll looking guy or something. We'll block it out first, drill nice and blocky. So I'm just going to spend a couple minutes here putting together something quick for this demonstration, but you can already see that the tools available and everything, uh, if you spend some time, you can really come up with some good results. If you make a mistake of some kind, it's really easy to go back and erase it and start over. So just keep adding clay and smoothing it out with the smooth feature as you go. Right now it's going to be very basic, but we're going to start putting more details in. She's waking for you. In the pulse of her heart, she's waiting for you. I'll go ahead and make his eyeballs a separate object over here and that way as I'm working with the rest of the model the eyeballs will stay around no matter what I do.
Let's give him a couple big old teeth. When the sun goes down, don't you tell me you're no longer mine. I like you, can't you see? There's nobody that means more to me. I love you, don't you know? At least I'm thinking. All right, he's starting to come along nicely. Let's uh, fill out these muscles a little bit. I'm going to give him a pole in each arm, like weapons or something, and uh, if both poles are touching the ground, it should make it easier to 3D print because there will be less overhangs. We'll give his ears a little tug here to give him some shape. Perfect. All right, let's give him something to stand on here. How about a big old rock? Well, I'm going to have to do something about these poles. He looks like he's skiing. I'm going to get rid of one and maybe move his arm a little here. Alright, now we just repair that seam in his elbow and perfect. Well, that was fun. It didn't take too long. Uh, let's export this guy as an OBJ file, and then we can stick that file into a slicer program like Cura, and then we'll end up with a file that our 3D printer knows what to do with. There's still a few overhangs on here that won't print correctly unless we support them. I like to use tree support, so that's all this blue stuff going on here. That'll get removed once the 3D print is finished, and uh, that just keeps everything in line. And let's get this guy printed. And there you go, look how easy that was. I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this uh, sculpting things in VR, it's great. Uh, I'm gonna be spending a lot more time with Adobe Medium, uh, honing my skills and hopefully coming up with something a little better than this. But uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time, bye now.